doing some memory ornaments. I was inspired by um, some ornaments that Mae Larson made, and I will put the link to the videos where she made her ornaments. Um, I'm doing mine just, I have some others that I want to do, but I'm doing a little bit of a twist on mine. Um, every year I add angels. I have an angel tree for all of my angels. So this year I thought I would add to it by creating some of these um, memory angels. And these are just angel wings that I found a pattern, I think it was on Pinterest, and I kind of blew it up and then cut it out. Now this is is a little bit too long. You wouldn't even have to put this piece in there. You could just join them like that, which actually works out better because I had to tuck mine. But that's what I started with. And then I coffee dyed some muslin, cut two pieces of that out, and then a piece of felt, sandwiched them together, and just roughly sewed around them. Okay, didn't want anything perfect, didn't want anything fancy. You know, I just want to be able to you know, kind of fringe these out a little bit. And over time, it'll do that naturally. So I made a couple of those. And I want to show you the one. Um, I did the most challenging one because it's of my dad. And doing things with guys is, is difficult for me. So here is my ornament for my dad. And I just simply, you know, I printed out the image on fabric. And um, I used a collage maker to print out all of the pictures that I wanted to use. And again, this it started with this base right here. And then I took some um, cheesecloth that I had also coffee dyed. And I just put some pieces on the wings real loosely. And these other, um, these are pieces of, you know, scrap laces that I had left from some projects that I glued some of those on there. I took another piece of muslin, just cut a strip and just kind of tied a really loose bow. Um, in here in the back of the angel I just took a piece of uh, eighth inch ribbon which I also coffee dyed and just made a little loop for hanging. Um, on the back because it looked unfinished I just took a doily that I think I got these at Michael's they were like two for 50 cents or something like that. Coffee dyed it and just glued it on the, you know, everything on the back. Glued it on the back to hide everything because it looked really unfinished. Um, I had some bells that, you know, I just tied together and glued those to the back before I put this on. I feel like I'm going backwards. Um, anyway, back to, um, I just, this is just a strip of muslin that I, ripped. I ripped it and tied it in a loose bow. Um, I put the image of my dad. Let me bring this in just a little bit so that you can see it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. I put the image of my dad in the center and then I used some gimp trim which May does have at Creating with Details. Um, I was trying not to get too frilly and frou-frou because -frou my dad would probably not like that very much might even have something to say about it. So I just did that and then I had this little um, crown charm um, that I glued in the center of the bow. Um, I glued a key that I had, like the key to our family. And then this reminded me, it's, it's a little tiny ruler and my dad was always making building stuff so I just thought, this is, this is from Tim Holt, one of these little, I don't even know what these are called. But um, it comes with a chain on it, and I took the. Ch this is what it looks like, right here. These are from Tim Holtz, and I just took the chain off and put that little charm ruler charm that I had on there. So oh, let's see. Oh, and then I, on my um, Microsoft Word, I just typed up a bunch of words. On you know on Microsoft and then I printed these out on fabric on my um, computer. I um, ironed these after that to heat set the ink and I printed these in different fonts and I printed them 
in bold so that they would stand out. And then I coffee dyed it, dried it, and ironed it. And as you can see, I'm just cutting out the words and using them as like little banners. This one says memories. So that's pretty much all I've done with this one. Just glued little pieces of, you know, random laces here and there. So that's the that's one that I have done so far. And I wanted to do the other two, <clears throat> one or two with you, um, just so you can see the process. But while I was making these, I got to thinking that you could even turn these from ornaments into a garland. You could simply run a piece of twine or you know something of that nature um, through these and you could even wind these around your tree or you could hang them and have them up all year round um, as like a little banner with your angels um, who says it has to be just for Christmas but I thought that might be a really cute idea um, something different that you could do for the memories of your loved ones. I have um, I have a ton of pictures that I still have to scan. My all of my pictures were in my other computer, which has a virus, and I've got to get the virus taken out before I can um, download the pictures because I don't want to download pictures with a virus and then upload it and, and get a problem. So. Um, I'm just doing, I printed out various pictures. Um, this one is of my mom. And I don't know where my grandma went. Where did my grandma go? Grandma, where'd you go? Grandma fell and walked away, I guess. Anyway, I'll just, I have an, some other ones that I was going to do as, as different kinds if you didn't want to do a memory one. but. Anyway, this is what I did. I just printed these um, off in the collage, and I backed it with felt. I didn't take the paper off. I, when I print these, I use um, regular fabric with uh, freezer paper iron on the back, and then just cut it to an 8.5 by 11 so that it goes through the printer. And then I just, after I printed it, I cut them out, and then I, I cut a circle. And to achieve that, I kind of used a round something or other, um, you know, just to get the shape of the circle. Because I cannot cut a circle to save my neck. So, at any rate, let me just get a drink here. Oh, and here's some of the other ones um, that I've printed off that uh, you could make ornaments without necessarily having to do, you know, like a memory one. I thought these were really precious. So I'm going to be using these to make um, in ornaments as well. And here's one that's got little angels. I thought that was really cute. And I just find these, on, you know, the free free images on Pinterest. Um, but uh, you could also use some of the digis that Angela Holt has over on her, in her Etsy store. Um, they would be perfect for a project like this. And then I found I had these... Um, rusty bells and I haven't had time to you know rust any more of them these are just some that I had in my stash um, but I also bought a bag of just bells um, that you can you know some of these I'm going to rust up some are probably just you know like gesso I don't know I'll, I'll figure out something to do with them but I while I was making these um do you guys remember the movie A Miracle on 34th Street? I'm sure you do. Well, there's a um, the scene in there with the little girl where she says, Teacher says every time an, a bell rings, that means an angel got their wings. And that was the reason for me wanting to incorporate the bells on here. Because you know these are my angels and, and they've got their wings so there was kind of that's kind of the symbolism that's what uh, I was thinking about when I was making these so that was what was in my little brain cell okay let's get busy now I've pulled out a bunch of different things I have 
the cheesecloth. I have to take a drink, excuse me. It's hotter than blazes. Um, and this one, I don't know if you can see the difference. This one's got a little bit more of a pink cast. And what I did, I used May's formula for this one. And it smells so good. I used um, coffee, very strong coffee. And you can see the difference in, in the textures and so on. Um, I used some cinnamon and some vanilla and just soaked it in there and, uh, you know, just dried it. So, and then this one, I did the same thing, except I added a little bit of an avocado juice to it so that it kind of gave it a, you know, kind of a pink tint to it. It's kind of hard to see, but when you separate it out, because this is doubled, um, you can kind of see the pink cast in it. Probably can't see it too well on here. But uh, I love working with this stuff. And then the cinnamon, you know, just kind of adds a little flex to it. Um, I'll be right back, ladies. Okay, ladies, sorry about that. Somebody came to the door. So I'm going to get started um, with doing my mom's ornament. And like I said, I have coffee dyed. I added vanilla. You may or may not be able to see the flecks of cinnamon in there. Um, and basically all I'm doing is just cutting some strips, random sizes, no rhyme or reason, just cutting some strips up. And I'm going to use um, the angel wings. I've also pulled out some various uh, trims and, and you know, uh, gimp, which again, you know, May has in her store. I pulled out some of the um, bead pearls and just different pieces of, you know, like this is uh, just a little dangle. Let me put the camera back out. I'm too close. Yeah, this is just a little dangle that's got, you know, strips of muslin and some laces. Oh, let's see what else. I pulled out some buttons. And I have um, some of these dangle trims that, uh, this one is no longer available, um, but, you know, there's other really pretty trims. Like I said, I just went into my stash. Um, this one is available, and I've used this on several projects, um, and I copied at it. So I'm going to be incorporating some of that. And then I have some appliques that I coffee dyed off of a wedding dress. Just various things. But I want to start with um, just kind of randomly gluing. Oops, I need a glue stick. Some pieces of cheesecloth on here. I love cheesecloth, I, you know, especially if you're doing something like, you know, primitive or shabby. It just. It just gives it that extra something. I love it. And you don't have to be perfect in how you're putting this on here. It's not supposed to be perfect. So, again, just randomly gluing. And you see, you don't need a whole lot of glue. You just kind of tuck it down with the glue gun. And some of this you're not going to really see because we're going to put more, more stuffs on it. So let's just have a little play with things that we have that I pull out. And I do have um, this really pretty applique that might be really, really, really pretty over here. But before I do that, I think I want to try, and it's okay if this hangs down longer. I kind of want it to. I'm going to try and um, use one of these on each wing, just cutting them apart. Let's 
so. And then we want to, yeah, that'll be pretty. But let's add some more stuff to it on the inside because it needs more pretties. Let's just, let's see what this looks like before I decide what I'm doing. I don't know. Let's just play around a little bit. See, what do we have? I do have some smaller pieces that I could cut out. I have some of this. That would be pretty. It's just a little piece. And I'm just kind of, you know, cutting here and there. have a little flower. This was also part of the um, appliques off that wedding dress that we can stick on here. Maybe we'll put it right in the center. That's cool. I like that. And then we have this little piece that was trimmed off of something that I used it for. See if we can find a space for that. Right here. And I don't want to put too much right here because this is where my picture is going to go. So I'm just kind of, you know, doing up the wings like that. Oops. I don't like that. I do. Okay. Let's go with this, what we have so far. So I'm just going to rip this off carefully. My glue goes on the wrong side. Okay, just dabbing it down. And over time, these edges will fray um, just to you know, give it that aged look. So it's really pretty what I was going for. And let's glue this down right here. Ouch. Uh oh. I glued that on the wrong side. What a bimbo. Blooper! That's okay because I'm going to glue that flower on top of there. Like so. Okay. And I'm just going to tack it in. And let's see. Maybe. has some flowers in it. This was another piece of that trim that uh, I just cut up. Maybe we can stick another flower right here. Yeah. You can just add little random bits and pieces. I do want to um, add my hanger before I get too far and forget. And I'm just taking a piece of you know, this eighth inch ribbon. And uh, I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing. And I'm just going to cross this over and turn this over and glue this on the back. Now, for this one on the back, I know I'm going to be using the um, appliques rather than the, the doily because I don't have any, honestly, puppy dyed right now. So, we're just going to make this one a little bit fancier. Dad wouldn't like fancy. Mm -mm. Nope. He's a very simple man. And I don't think he was real fond of ruffles and ribbons and so on. I'm going to add this piece up here. I'm going to cut this off. And as you can see, I'm just chipping away at these little pieces and tucking them in here and there. 
Well, you can do this, and maybe if you think you're done, you can look at it and go, oh, let me find something for right here. Okay. So there you can see we have that wing semi-finished. So let's do the same thing on the other side. We'll cut this little leaf part. I guess it's leaves. Let's make sure we're at the right side. I'm just going to do that right there. Oops. And you can see how very little bit that you need to, you know, to make these. I'm going to stick that leaf right down here. Yep. And let's see what else we have. Let me get another piece of... These uh, applicants that I'm talking about. And these do not have to match on both wings. Um, they, they, you know, it doesn't really matter because the colors and the textures are all very similar. So it really, you don't have to, you know, make each side identical. I kind of like it being a little bit off. But if you like it, you know, symmetrical, then by all means, you know, you can do that. So I'm just going to put this little flower right here. And then let's get another piece of our dangle trim. Oh, that's got to go on here too. I think right about maybe right about there. Yeah, why is it there? I'm just trying to add a little bit of texture, a little bit of depth um, to the wings. Nothing major. Okay, back to this. We cut off another piece. I love this trim. This is so versatile. You can do so many things with this, and I have. Um, absolutely. I used some of this on this um, Christmas stocking that I did. I did some on my um, doll dress that I made. Um, it's just got so many uses. I think I'm going to have to cut this part off right here. I don't have to, but I'm going to just just because it's a little bit too wide for the wing. But again, you save that little piece because it's quite useful. Now this time I'm going to make sure that I have the right side. Now see, this one's a bit longer than the other one, so I'm going to have to cut that off right there. And I'll just take this little piece here so that it kind of mimics, oh dear, oh, here it is. And I'm just going to put that right on the bottom. Just add a little dab of glue right there. And I'm going to glue this one on. So, just to get that in there. Like that. Now I've got to find another flower like this. Or something similar. Like I said, it doesn't have to be matchy matchy. I don't know if I have any more. Yep, I got one. Well, it's sort of similar. Like I said, it's not identical because, you know, they use different appliques on different parts of 
the wedding dresses. You know, not always exactly the same, but it still gives the same feel, so it's okay. Okay. So there we have, and those are cute, even just like that. Um, there we have the wings. Now I'm going to turn this around a little bit because I want to glue mama. And I'm just going to add some glue right here and glue her right in the center. Make sure I don't have my hanger caught up in there. Now you can see why on the back you've got to finish it off with something because it looks funky. Okay, But we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the other thing that I did was I showed you the bells and I just kind of took some gesso and you know, kind of lightly painted them up a little bit, tied them on a piece of the ribbon, and uh, I wasn't thinking at the time, but I did kind of want three of them, like so. So I'm going to turn this over, and I'm going to glue these to the back. for a second so it doesn't stick to everything but now you can see she's got her bells and that dangling bell why aren't you dangling okay well we'll worry about that later okay so now I want to take I want to trim out her her face I used the, um, the skimp in a different color around my dad, but I'm not sure if I want to do that around mom, because her face is so tiny, and that's kind of big, so I don't think I'm going to use that one. Oh, let's see what else do I have here. I have some other trims that kind of make these little flowers out. I think I can really get them in here. I have such a mess. I mean, I have a mess. I just pulled that out a minute ago. And I laid it down. Big mistake. Big, big, big mistake. Ugh. What do you do with it? Oh, I can't stand it. I just look like this. Let's look at this one. This might work. Let's just see. See, it's still too big. It's too big for her little face. Mom had a little face. We called her mouse because her face was so little that uh, she looked like a little mouse. Just see. I think there might be. Yep, we're going to use that one. This may also carry creating the details. And I'll put all these little pieces that I've used, like this and these things, and you know, that type of thing, in the description box below. So, because you get a yard of this stuff, and I'm telling you, it will last you forever. Especially when you do it this way, when you're, you know, you're just cutting up um, just random little pieces. And I'm going to start up here at the top because I have more stuff that's going to go up there too. And there are so many ways that you could do this. I'm just kind of, you know, just kind of playing around. And I knew I wanted to make some new angels um, for my tree. Oops this year and then you know I'm seriously considering the idea that I mentioned earlier about the 
you know, turning it into a garland for your tree, or even just to hang up. You could leave it up year round. Um, I when I did the banner tutorial, I said that I was going to do this on the back of a banner um, that I made, so that you know you could flip it around and have you know two banners in one. I still have not done that, but this is kind of similar. So. Oh, it is so hot here, guys. Oh, and, t and they say, um, it's what the meteorologists call the ring of fire. We're going to be smack dab in the middle of it this week. And, uh, and Friday's actual temperature, now that we're in Michigan, okay, we're not in the south, um, is going to be 101. You can bet your bottom dollar I'm not leaving this house. So to me that is just outrageously hot. So oops. And I think what I'll do um, on the back of this is probably just use some of those uh, you know these appliques that I thought to do. Just so that it looks pretty from the front and the back. And like I said, I I was remiss in dyeing all of the doilies in coffee dye. But that's okay, because you don't have to have them all exactly the same. So there we have that. Okay, there's mom. Now, I'm going to see if we can maybe just put some like, curls in the center of that. Yeah, I'm going for it. Just to give it that little extra oomph. And you could put bling on here. You could make, oh, limitless, limitless possibilities. If you're more organized than me, these go lickety split. You know, I try to be as prepared as I possibly could. You know, there's always something that you forget. Always, always, always. You know how well you prepare. When you go to do one of these, you get out and you go, oh, you big dummy. You forgot to get this, or what about that? Something you didn't even think about until you start making it. So there we have that. And I don't mind the, the fact that that's white along with the, um, the coffee bag. Holy moly, I got blue strings everywhere. Now I did pull out some buttons that I thought might be kind of pretty in here. And I think I'm going to put one right here. Maybe. Right there at the bottom. Yeah, I like that. So, I think I'll cut this shank off though. There we go. I'm just going to do this right here. You can see I didn't pre plan because if I was knew I was going to do this, I wouldn't have put the, the curls right there. That's okay. That's okay. So we got that little button there. Let's see what else do I have? Pulled out stuff. Oops. I have another little. I don't think I like that other one. Let me see what else I have. There's a whole jar of button buttons. Who's got the buttons? These were my grandma's, both of them. What's what's remaining of them? I did share, honestly, I did share um, some of these with my girls. Um, I don't know, there's just something about buttons, playing with them that's fun. I like them. There's so many different ones that you, know, you just can't find today. It's just, they're not like that. So, alright, let's start with that and just see. Okay. 
doing that. Just put that one right in the center. And the leaves just lay on. Right in the center of that flower. And then sit over here. Just kind of randomly putting buttons on. I have this stuff so crowded in, you can't really see it. It's got some stuff on the back of it. Yeah. Except that it was so long. And there it goes flying. Flying. And what else I have that I almost forgot I pulled out and didn't go. I bought these. These are actual beads. Um, I bought these on a string. And I took them off the string because I thought, I think these would make much prettier embellishments. You could still use them on a string. I just think that they are, you know what, I'm taking that button off. It's just too big of a tie for Mama. So I'm going to take that off. There we go. And I'm going to use... These little rose buds instead. Because I think that would be cute. And you could use, like, um, you know, some of the paper flowers if you wanted to. That would be pretty as well. I'm going to use one of your buds. Okay. So I'm just and three of them together. See, that looks so much better. Yeah, I like that much better. Now, before I do figure out which, um, before I do the backing, I want to figure out which, no, I'll do the backing first. See, I'm even confusing myself. See how it's looking so close? And I still have to put the little banner on there. I like her. Well, I mean, of course I like her. She's my mama, but. Okay, so let's just flip this over and just kind of uh, use some of these appliques that I have to cover up the back. Oh, there's a good one right there. Didn't even have to look very far. I think what you're doing, Robin. Plan ahead. I almost made a boo boo. Because the whole idea is to cover up the yucky stuff. So, that'll work right there. Oh, that'll be pretty in the center, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. So, let's find another piece that we can use. As you can see, I'm not being, you know, super picky. I just want to, you know, cover up that unfinished business. Take that off. Yep. Okay, let me glue these down. So, another glue stick. And you could even do these like with your kids. You know, think about maybe doing, um, you know, their baby pictures and do one, you know, like every year, add another, um, you know, little uh, ornament to the tree. And then when, you know, when they grow up, um, you can hand these down to them as little mementos for their tree. To show, you know, their kids. And you could carry them with the grandkids. You get where I'm going. This is just simply to get you to, you know, think about different things that you could do. Hey, I got that off because that looks yucky. And 
sure this is covered up. So. And you could take more time and do this, you know, later if you chose to. This is just for video purposes. That, and I, you know, I kind of like this unfinished, semi-finished look. To me, it's just shabby. We all love shabby. I don't know about people who don't want shabby to stay a little bit. Okay, so there we have her back. See, that way, even if it gets turned around, you still got a little pretty. Um, oops. She wanted bling, I think. So now let's see. I want to see something here. Just had a thought. Uh oh, look out. Over at the media, Robin had a thought. Scary stuff, I tell you. This is just another piece of the um, applique. kind of wondering if we could maybe do something like that. Maybe that's pretty. I like that. You like that? I like that. Except it covers up the button. Maybe if we could walk a little bit and just do that. Yeah, let me find another piece like that. See how it works. See how it works. You have a plan. You make the plan. You do the plan. And then you change the plan. Well, I didn't really have a plan. Just kind of letting it talk to me and unfold as we go. That's the fun of it, though, to me. Because you just never know where you're going to end up. See if I can find my girl in the opposite direction. Hmm. Well, like I said, it does not have to match, so we're gonna improvise a little bit. I'm gonna go this way. Get the same feel. Oh, I can't go up that high because of the button. What do I have to do with it? Oh, there it is. What I can do with this. So, I can go here. What do you think? Turn around so I can see if this looks right or if it doesn't. I think that might be too much, actually. Alright. I do have some of these little flowers. That, yep. That's going right there. And I'll put something up here as well. So I'll save those little pieces for something else. And I just saw another flower. Where'd it, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Everything's growing legs and walking away from me today. It's not nice. And that's my story. I'm sticking to it. It's not me losing them. They're walking away. I'm telling you they are. You just have to believe me. You don't have to, but I hope you do. Yeah, I like it out. Like so. Now, I'm going to put something up here. Let me see that button that I took off the bottom. What would that would look like up here? No. It looks stupid. 
who really, really does. Let me see if I have a flower. It might work there. Or something. Even though. Yeah. See, these may have in our store as well. These flowers. So I think what I'm going to do is just add some glue in here. Here and there, and glue that flower like that. Ouch! I was really trying not to say that, but that one was halt. So there we have that. So let me see, what do we want to put on mom's? I'm going to show you how I um, kind of cut these out. Let's see, what do we have? I think what I'm going to use on mom is angel. Oh, there's a fly. Maybe I'll use two. Maybe I'll use angel and heart. Yeah. Let's do that. So what I'm doing is just kind of cutting these. Like so. So there's angel. And over here, heart. Okay. Wow, sir. A mess, I say. So now I'm just going to cut this one off so it's a little bit more even. And then I just take these scissors and just make a little notch. And again, just to kind of resemble a you know, ribbon band. I'm really am troubled about where my grandma ran off to. I don't know where her um, picture is. So there we have heart. But I will find her and I will add her ornament to the pictures at the end of the video. Now, if you wanted to trim this in the garland, you could just run something right through the hanging loop or all around there and then just kind of wrap it around your tree. That would be kind of cute, I think. Okay, so there we have those. Let me clean up some of this. Okay. So let's figure out where we want to put Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. Just added a dab of glue. Right in those pearls. And the other side, I'm just going to bring this up. Whoever it is is going to have to call back later. At least this time I took it out of the ground. Okay. And then I think I put the heart, angel heart, over here going in the opposite direction. I really need to find a new ringtone for my phone. That is so annoying. Thank you for hanging out. That's what voicemail is for, right? Shoo, bumpy. Okay. So there we have, oh my word, a mess of, it, of glue strings. Okay, so there we have Mama. 
in her arm. And then we have Daddy with Paris. So you can see the different styles that you can get just depending on what kind of embellishments that you use. So I think that I am going to call the video a wrap. I didn't want it to go too long, but I am going to finish up a couple of the other ones, and I will put pictures of those at the end of the video um, so that you can see them all. And uh, I hope you like this. I hope that you'll give it a try. And if you do, would you please do me the honor of tagging me um, in your ornaments so that I can see the beauties that you've created. I love to see what you guys do. I love to be inspired. And uh, I, I really, really seriously mean that. And again, if you have ideas or maybe suggestions, uh, I know sometimes when I'm watching somebody make something, I'm thinking, ooh, this would be cool. And then I forget. So I do appreciate those little, you know, your input. Because we do these to inspire and, you know, sometimes we need to be inspired, too. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you before I forget. Um, I'm going to be doing a little video on things that, you know, you could make with your kids. When I was doing the, um, the Kitchen Angel, I uh, was reminded of, you know, the ornaments that my sister and I used to make with my grandma when we were kids. And I was looking for my Christmas, um, you know, crafts, and I couldn't find them, but I did find these little tiny clothespins. And that's, you know, they're just regular clothespins, see? And all I did was take some scraps and, you know, kind of turned her into a little angel that you could hang on the tree. This is one of the trims that May has, and this was off of a doily. This is another trim here, and I just glued it up there, glued these to the back, a little pearl hanger, and then I took uh, little tiny pieces of trim, and I, you know, kind of made her shoes. So I just wanted to share that with you. These are the kind of things that, um, I thought, you know, I'm going to do a few videos. They're, they're going to be short, but things that, you know, maybe you could make with your kids or your grandkids. Um, when my sister and I used to make these, they were, um, both my mom and my grandma had these little ornaments that we used, pipe cleaners and all kinds of different things to make these ornaments. And they had them on their trees until they just literally fell apart. So, you know, these are kind of special. You could even make these for teachers or, you know, whoever. The only thing I would, you know, caution, of course, is that, you know, if you're doing this, you would have to use um, either a different type of glue that the kids could use or, you know, maybe just doing the gluing for the kids. So look forward to, um, you know, a couple of videos on crafts with kids. Because um, that's something that we don't see a whole lot of, and that's such a strong memory for me. I just thought I wanted to uh, to kind of share something like that. So, until next time, um, please be kind to one another. Pray for each other. Pray for our country. Pray for everyone, because we're all under attack by the devil. He's, as I said before, he's about his business, and... We have to stand strong. We have to stand together. We have to support one another. Um, there's way too much division um, in the country and even in our little craft community. There's way too much division, and we need to get away from that and pull together as one. So I love you guys. Um, if you liked it, please um, you know, leave me a comment here if you want and if you haven't done so please subscribe so i'll see you all soon i love you bye